Welcome to Carefree IT TV. Today we'll be talking about Mail Merge. Mail Merge is a feature that we use to create personalized letters and pre-addressed envelopes or mailing labels to mass mailing from a form of letter or a standard template or a word processing document. Uh, in simple words, if you have suppose more uh, like 2000 people you want to send one newsletter to or maybe some letter or you want to create mailing labels for more, like numerous people, uh, say 100 or 1000 addresses that you need to create. Uh, there is a simple way to do that in uh, Microsoft Word using the mail merge feature. All you have to do is just create an Excel sheet with the list of contacts with their addresses and you can create a letter in the Word and you can personalize each letter with the um, contact from the Excel sheet. We will see that in a minute how we do that. Let's open Word. You go to mailing and start mail merge. There are different forms that you can create like letters, email messages, envelopes, labels, or directories. Directory me uh, will do uh, see that one by one. But initially, we'll start with the mail merge wizard, which is a simple way of creating that. On the right hand side corner, you will see the mail merge task menu. You uh, here you can specify what kind of document you want to create. Is it a letter or it's an email message, a personalized email for all the context that you will be selecting from your Excel sheets or maybe a different database, a database. envelopes, mailing labels, directory. Uh, directory will be a single document that contains a list of addresses or uh, whatever you specify in your Excel sheet. So let's create a simple letter this is my step one I go to start document now you can use a current document maybe you can just type in some stuff you can use this as a document just a plain document and you can type in anything you can start from the templates which are readily available just go select a template we are doing a letter so let's go to letter and I'm just picking up the first one randomly let's say okay Or you can just start with the existing document. So let's say you have already created the document. You can just open that document, go to the mailing, and you can start the mailing merge wizard. I go to my next step where I will be selecting my recipients. Um, you can use existing list. If you have created any, you can just browse through. Or you can maybe if you have an excel sheet or a csv document where you have all the contact lists of the people who, who you want to send this letter to you can pick that up here or you can select the outlook context you can uh, it will directly connect to your outlook contacts list and you can pick up anyone so i can go with the my task contacts or my contacts that uh, the ones which I have in here I just say okay so it will pick up all the four contacts that are there in my outlook or you can just create a new list right here so you can type the name first name last name that's by default you can customize these columns let's say you don't want title you don't want address line two and you don't want their home phone number let's say they are all from the same country so you don't want country even in the address list and uh, zip code and if you want to add something you can simply add and type in the name of the field and that will be added in this list so let's say I have first name, last name, company name, the city, the work phone number, and the email address. 
so I can type in some names And you can create multiple lines. Let's say OK. And you can save this list uh, with the name, let's say, my contacts. So now my contacts.mdb database has two names, and you can shuffle them around. For example, if you want first name to appear first, you can move it by just dragging and dropping it here. And you can customize the layout. Suppose you want to work for number before the email address, you can do that. And if you want to sort this list, uh, you can do that too based on the first name, last name, and a thing. So you can pick up what is the criteria of sorting them. You can filter out some addresses in order to send the emails. Let's say we are picking it uh, all of them. And we go next here we can customize our letter let's say i don't want the recipient name or the sender's address here i will just delete this part and let's say after my name i want the address block where it's the uh, recipients like let's say name and then their company name and their uh, city if you want you can add more to it from here you can pick it up and I'm good with it so just say okay now I can delete this part and let's say I want my greeting line here say dear stephanie comma you can change it with colon or leave it like comma or you can pick as to stephanie or if you want to type in your own personalized message you can do that i'm good with the defaults you can change this letter you can customize it as per the content of your own letter that you're planning to just design you can get rid of this and let's say thanks I can delete this part and this goes as carefree ID once I'm done with this I can go to preview the letters and this is how my letter would look to my different recipients. So my first recipient is, uh, second recipient was Stephanie. And the first one was Puna. If you want to modify any uh, particular recipient's letter, you can do that from here as well. And on if you want to add more recipients to it you can simply add it to the recipient list right here just go to database say edit and you can add more names to it just say new entry so it will just create another field, uh, row for you you can create more entries in here say okay once you're done and then you can just go with the complete the merge here you get the option of either print or you can edit them 
so you can edit the individual documents you can print them or maybe you can just send the email messages let's say we, I pick the send the email messages to the email address that I specified in my contact list and if you want to send it to just one or two recipients you can specify let's say I just want it to be sent to one recipient I can say that if you want it to send to the first 10 recipients you can do that or if you want to send it to all you can pick all option and if you want to just send it to the one which you are picking in here so you can pick up the current record let's say all and say okay so this one doesn't have a subject I don't care I didn't add one subject but you can definitely do that and say and anyway now this will send an email to all the recipients that were in my contacts list I had two so it sent email to two of them okay let's go to my outlook and see if this is received So it is received at tutorial at carefreeid.ca and here is the letter. Now besides this you can also go without the mail merge wizard So you can uh, start the mail merge, you can pick up the letter, you can pick up this recipients, just type in a new list or use the existing list. Let's try with the use the existing list. Uh, before that, let's create a list. So I have my Excel open. Let's say I have name. company name and city and email address so I can randomly type let's say name um, John carefree IT city Waterloo and let's say email john at carefreeid.ca let's say anita carefree it waterloo and say anita at carefreeid.ca And there is a cool feature in here let's say if I'm just copying the same thing I can go with dragging you go to the right hand side bottom corner when you see plus just drag it and that will copy the entry below and let's say read at carefree id.ca so now I have five contacts in here I can save this let's say on my desktop and I name it as company contacts and I say save now I can go with the existing list select different list go to my desktop and say company contacts and say okay 
so this will bring in my sheet with all the contacts I just created you can shuffle around and just say ok so I have five recipients I go with the you can go from here like next or maybe you can just pick up the address blog greetings the way we saw in the mail merge visit you can pick them up from top here and in the end you can just say finish and send email like this and the emails to all the recipients or if you want to edit the individual documents you can say okay and it will show you all the um, letters so this one is John the second page would be Anita third one is and fourth one and fifth one so it, it's gonna give you the list of all of the letters you can usually type customize them the way you want to and in the end you go to mail and finish the mail march document so you just say send emails or if you want to print these documents and so on besides that you can also do the email messages you can also do the envelopes the address uh, messages on the envelopes you can do mailing labels or you can just create a file with all the addresses from imported from your excel sheet so this summarizes our mail merge today and in the next series we will be talking about transition from windows 7 to windows 8 and some really cool features of windows which are generally um, not very much famous uh, stay tuned for our next tutorial next week and have a good day